So let's get started. Right, so uh, what I got here is a mask. Um, we're gonna start uh, using the mask by Lasso. Oh, I got the wrong one. All right, mask by Lasso. And you just wanna make the shape of a wrap. And you wanna make sure it's mirrored, so Make sure you have uh, the X axis on for mirroring. We're going to extract it, accept, and just smooth out the edges. Uh, make sure you, uh, uh, if your thickness isn't right, make sure that you set it correctly. I got mine at 0 0.02. All right, I'm going to remesh it now. Oh, it's just taking a while. And there you go. Oh, so it didn't come out good, uh, the Z remesh. So we need to smooth it more. So we're going to DynaMesh and smooth the edges so that we can get some clean Z remesh. We want the topology to be nice so that it feels nice and smooth. All right. Soften it some more, dynamesh it some more. Give it some inflate. You can find inflate in the deformers in tools all the way down here. There you go, inflate. So we're gonna zero mesh it. It should be faster now that we dynameshed it. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start with this wrap. Uh, the rest of the wraps we're going to do very similarly and we're just going to move them around to tuck them in and out of each other. So again, mask by lasso. Trying to see if it's thick enough or not. All right, extract. Oh, I don't have the accept tool there. Oh, I need to put that on my customize uh, my customized UI later. I'll just do it later. Let's focus on this first. Okay, soften it. I'll be speeding up the video pretty soon since most of this is pretty repetitive. So let's uh, zero mesh it. Mm, yeah, it seems to be lagging a bit after you extract. Probably uh, better to dynamesh it first than zero mesh it. Okay, soften it again. Now we just gotta uh, tuck it in, smooth the edge. You can use a snake hook also. I like to use that a lot more than the move tool. So you just push it in. And you're gonna do that all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. So uh, let's uh, fast forward the video and uh, I'll just keep talking over the fast forwarded recording. All right, the speed now should be about four times faster. So we're gonna go up and do the straps. Do the same thing as before. We're gonna be masking it. Uh, extract it. Dynamesh and zero mesh. All right, smooth the edges, zero mesh it, get it nice and loose. Just move it a little bit, tuck it in. Uh, 
I'm just going to pull out some of the edges so that it tapers out and the bottom tapers in. Uh, you're going to want to do that so that uh, when it goes, uh, keeps going up, you want to just keep making it smaller and smaller. You want it to feel like the same thickness going all the way to the top. So tapering has to occur so that it tucks in and it flares out. You also want to make sure that you've decided uh, your extract thickness uh, on the first one so that it stays the same throughout the entire thing. You want to change it or it's going to make your scalp feel a lot more different and it's going to be hard to put it together and make it feel like it's all the same wrap. So I'm just going down, I'm readjusting the bottom ones. Uh, you're going to be doing that a lot you can, uh, just to see how it feels as I go up you know some of the older ones I made will probably not feel right or I have to adjust it because I adjusted others yeah do the same thing again so you remeshed it pull it out pull the bottom one out a little bit so yeah just remember it's uh, extract, smooth, dynamesh, smooth, dynamesh, smooth, zero mesh. And make sure the zero mesh is, is pretty low. Uh, to target polygon count, I usually do around one. Adaptive size, uh, 50, 10 the lowest. It just depends what you like working with. Having a little trouble there, not not very smooth. Trying to uh, take it out. If if you usually have those the, those little issues where there's a little bumps, you know, dynameshing it and zero meshing it usually fixes it up. I usually keep doing back and forth until I get the topology shape I want, especially for wraps, since wraps are usually smoother. So there's there's no problem with zero meshing it until you it's smooth enough. Um, just be careful if you're as you're meshing it in the low subdivision because uh, if you smooth it then it's going to get too thin on the edge and then you'll either have to inflate it or remake it. <clears throat> Make sure to randomize uh, the angles also of the strap. You don't want to have them all go on the same angle. So I usually try to alternate between Sliding to the right, more towards the center, but not perfectly centered, and then going to the left, and you just do it a little differently. Every every wrap should feel like a slightly different angle, so that uh, it doesn't feel like it's been manufactured uh, by a robot or something. Giving in some of it a thickness. I feel like I lost some shape in some of them. And almost there. So smooth it, Z remesh, tuck it in. Gotta pull some of those lower ones out. And let's finish up the cap. Just gonna push this one in. We're not gonna worry too much about uh, the top of that strap right there. As long as the thickness feels right, then it's going to feel like it's the strap. So we're going to do the bottom. If you want your overlaying strap to be the bottom, that's fine. And if you want more overlaying straps, like the first one I made, to go around, then that's also good. I probably actually recommend it. 
my uh, my first trap stands out too much but uh, I'm gonna stick with it for now for the tutorial and for time's sake and now the bottom strap just try to tuck it in make sure the thickness is right when texturing it you know the color will pop it out mostly um, now I'm going on the edges and I'm taking the standard brush and I'm just stroking the edges to make it feel like it's popping out a bit and you're going to be doing that throughout the entire thing. Pop out the edge. If you'd like, you can also pop out, uh, you know, give some folds in the center, but that'll make it feel like it's less thick and less dirty. If, if you have uh, more folds uh, all over the strap, then it's going to feel loose and uh, less leathery. I'm uh, aiming for stronger fabric on this, so I'm not going to go too crazy with folds. Just edge folds to make it feel like it's popping out, a little rougher. And it's going to help it read more from a distance. All right. Changing the material. This one is uh, the pro material. It's always a good one to use and look at to see cavities. It uh, it can pop things out more and push things out more, more, and you can see mistakes. It's always a good idea to go from material to material to help you find mistakes. So now I'm just seeing uh, their overall shape from a distance. Uh, see if there's the areas that are too thin or areas that are too thick. Experimenting with some straps, seeing if I want to move any of them around. And that's about it for uh, part four of the tutorial. If you liked it, uh, check out the next one. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Have a nice day.